SOC blocks that provide simulating blocks and visualization tools for simulation, profiling, and deployment to a list of supported hardware boards. But what if you are working with, say, a board from a vendor that is not supported out of the box, or have your own custom board? I am Tanmay, a software developer at MathWorks, and in this video, I am going to show you how to support the simulation features of SOC block set for a new hardware board. We will do this for the ZCU106 board using the board support feature available with SOC block set support package for Xilinx devices. A board support allows you to add a new hardware board to the list of boards supported by SOC block set. You can map features like external mode and profiling to the hardware board, thus enabling those features and making them visible in Simulink configuration parameters for the associated board. You can create a new board support that already includes many features using a board support reference. Using a reference, you will only need to add or modify features unique to your board. The board support for ZCU106 will add the Zinc ZCU106 custom SOC board entry to the list of SOC blocks that supported boards. ZCU106 is equipped with a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 based processor as well as a 16 nanometer programmable logic. We are going to use board support for UltraScale plus MPSOC as a reference since it supports Cortex-A53 based devices. Let's now get started with creating the board support for Xilinx ZCU106. You need to have SOC block set and SOC block set support package for Xilinx devices installed. You can install the support package through Add-ons Explorer. You can confirm if the support package is installed or not using Add-ons Manager. Here's the support package right up on top, so we are ready to create a board support. At a high level, there are four steps. First, we create a framework for the board support. Second, we specify the hardware board and its properties. You will need to gather information about the hardware from data sheets and other vendor documentation to complete this step. Third, we need to add an operating system or scheduler feature. And fourth, we test the board support. In step 1, we start by creating a board support object. We need to specify the name of the board support, board support for ZCU106, the reference board used, board support for Xilinx Zinc Ultrascale Plus MPSOC, and the folder where we want to create the board, C Work ZCU106. We will now save this object. If we inspect the board support object, B opt, you can see that its properties correspond to features like operating system and external mode. If you navigate to the folder where we created the board support, you will see certain folders and a RTW target info file. In step 2, we will create the hardware board definition for this board. You need to specify an internal name for the board as well as its device ID. Since the board has four cores, we will add four processor cores to the hardware board object. We also add one FPGA core to the hardware object. You can add new memory, I.O. devices like LEDs, push buttons, Ethernet interfaces, and so on. You can refer to the accompanying script for adding the memory and I.O. support for this board. After the hardware object definition is complete, we will map the hardware to the board support. The name used to map these two is the name you want to see in the hardware board dropdown. In the third step, we will add operating system support. The MPSOC reference board uses the Linux operating system which is what we want to use as well. So we will get the operating system object from the reference and then map it to our hardware. Let's save the board support object once again. In the last step, you can test your board support using the test API. The board support is now ready to use and we will try a shipping example with it. I'm going to open the SOC hardware software stream top example. 
notice that there is now an entry for ZCU106. You can select and run the simulations to assess the performance and identify issues before deploying the application to the hardware board. To learn more about SOC Blockset, you can go to mathworks.com slash SOC.